をしている方が心理的に幸せであるというふうな心理学的な調査もあります。The models we have for jazz education imply, I think, that the most important teaching and learning happen in formal settings with clear, what I call, age and experience hierarchies. So,、uh, young people are taught and they learn from old people or older people in classrooms and lessons.、Uh, and while I know that happens, I propose quite simply that I think、uh, it's not the most important. まあ、ジャズの教育に関して言えば、えー、今はいわゆるその学校で、えー、クラスの授業の中で、えー、ある程度その若い、えーまあ、大学生とか学生が、えー、その理論を学ぶまたはレッスンで弾くことを学ぶというある程度の,その年齢枠とか、えーまあ、いわゆるヒエラルキーみたいなものが実際にもうすでに。出来上がっているものがありますが、私個人としてはこれは、えー、このやり方がすべてではないというふうに考えています。I draw an example of what I mean by this again from Monk and Coltrane together, learning from each other.、Um, Coltrane said it was super important to him when he played with Monk. He said, and the quote is up there: "I felt I learned from him in every way, through the senses, theoretically, technically. I could watch him." Play and find out the things I wanted to know. Also, I could see a lot of things I didn't know about at all. Monk was classically less verbal about this, and he said, I imagine he might actually have said,、mm. Um, nevertheless, I think it's clear that he did learn things from the process of working with John Coltrane, and this to me is really important. That it isn't just unidirectional, it isn't just older,、uh, sorry, younger people learning from older people, and it isn't just explicit teaching、uh, that derives, drives learning. That in fact, older musicians clearly learn from younger musicians, and that the processes often involve just doing and learning that way. Um, so, the question I ask is what was taught and what was learned?、Um, it's clear that techniques were taught and learned. Coltrane describes having learned how to play multiphonics on his instrument from Monk, which is interesting because Monk wasn't a sax player.、Um, musical concepts were clearly learned.、Uh, Coltrane again talks about the things that he learned musically, and you can hear them in his playing.、Um, but also, interactivity was learned, and I actually think.、Um, Monk never talked about this, but I actually think Monk learned a lot about playing with tenor players from Coltrane. And actually, that his playing changes
um, or it's not his plan. Uh, the way that he thinks about structuring pieces at large seems to change, that he does a better job of incorporating tenor players, and it's, I think, one of the reasons, tenor sax players. It's one of the reasons that um, after that, his next collaboration with Charlie Rouse is so fruitful and lasts for so long. Research in this area is essentially non-existent. I think this is a ripe context, something for someone to do. I would love to see a dissertation that took this question on. So, in closing, uh, you've given me a lot of your time and I appreciate it, so let me say, I, I think that a society like this is really important. There aren't a lot of societies dedicated to the study of musical improvisation in the world. I think it's great uh, that this is happening and I'm really proud to be a part of it. Um, I think why it's important is that we can lay claim to a subject that touches on every area of musical study and that I think essentially all musicians do in some way or another. We might come to understand improvisation not just as one mode of musical performance, but as the heart of musical creativity itself. If we do so, I think we might ironically lose the grounds for arguing that improvisation is a special area of study, but if so, we'll have done it by making our scholarly concerns fundamental to the study of music at large, which I think is a fine trade-off. この